Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So today I noticed something very interesting when I booted up my Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices. And I had noticed that the Copilot app on both devices had automatically been removed. And the Copilot app was there yesterday and today not to be. Now, if I head into my start menu, Copilot, as you can see, has been removed. If we head into our settings, and this applies to both Windows 10 and Windows 11, apps, installed apps. Copilot, no entry, it's been removed. And if I do a quick search for Copilot, no entry. So this is very interesting. And I haven't seen any announcement from Microsoft that they are actually doing this. But there could be a good reason why this is happening. Because, as I've posted a day or so ago, uh, Microsoft is rolling out another native Copilot app for Windows, which is currently undergoing testing in the Insider program. The video will be linked um, down below and in the end screen. And this new Copilot app is built using technologies like XAML and WinUR and so on. And it also includes this new conversation history um, menu to the left-hand side of the app, which currently is not available in the stable version. So it could be that Microsoft is making way for the new Copilot app, which is going to become a native Copilot app, um, according to Microsoft. And they did mention that regarding the current Copilot app, but it actually ended up just being a glorified web app, a PWA. So it could be that Microsoft is going to make the new native Copilot app available for download from the Microsoft Store, or they are automatically going to install it onto Windows 10 and Windows 11 with an up-and-coming update, but I cannot confirm that. But I'm just putting it out there that if you are in the same boat as me and you have noticed that Copilot has been removed, then you are not alone. And if we just quickly head into the Microsoft Store, and I'll just do a search quickly for Copilot. We can see that the current Copilot app is still available, which you can still download and install. And I did that before posting this video, and it's exactly the same app that was removed. So it's not the new so-called native app with XAML and when you are support and so on. So something very interesting going on here. I'm going to keep my ear to the ground with this. And obviously, if I get more info, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.